Okay, Vishnu, go ahead with your introduction. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for giving me the chance to introduce myself. My name is Vishnu Chetri. I was born and brought up in Haplong, which is the only hill station in Assam. I hold a master's degree in computer applications from Assam Engineering College. I have five years of experience in the field of IT, out of which I have worked one and a half year at Jetic Technologies and the rest at National Informatics Center. At Jetic Technologies, I have worked as a senior full stack developer and also had the opportunity to lead a team of seven members. Prior to joining Jetic Technologies, I have also completed a six months of internship at National Informatics Center and then I joined NIC as a software developer on contractual basis, where I worked on the ease of doing business project and the right to public service project. In terms of technical skills, I have expertise in web application development, using cloud services like Google Cloud and Amazon AWS, using CICD pipelines. I believe my background skills and experience align well with the goals of NIC, and I can contribute to its success. Thank you. Okay, so Vishnu, you have an experience of working for three years, right? Uh, Ma'am, uh, three and a half years in NIC and one and a half year in a private organization. Total five years of experience I have, ma'am. Total five years, right. Okay. Yes, you moved to IT, right? IT sector? Yes, ma'am. I am into IT sector only since the very beginning. Okay, fine, right. You have done your master's in? Master's in? Computer the... applications. Computer applications, right. Okay. So tell me, Vishnu, uh, now why do you want to go for NIC first? Uh, Ma'am, actually, I started my professional journey with NIC itself. And I've worked there for three and a half years and I've worked there in crucial projects. And there I got to know that how NIC is contributing in e-governance and how it is providing various services to the citizens and contributing in public sectors. And right. I also like uh, got an interest that being in government and we can also like use the technology to like further serve the citizens. So that's how ma'am I got a develop, I got an interest in NIC ma'am. What about your hobbies, Vishnu? Uh, ma'am, my hobbies include uh, dancing. Uh, I like traveling as well, ma'am. Uh, what about your strengths and weaknesses? Uh, my uh, ma'am, my major strengths include adaptability, my technical strength, uh, my leadership and mentoring skills, my problem solving skills. Tell me any past situation where you have solved a problem like anything. Like you told that you have a problem solving skills. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Any past uh, where you actually solve it out and you could uh, just compensate that trait of yours? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so I will like uh, tell about my work at Jetic Technologies. So there was one technical scenario where the server was failing. Okay. So our whole web application was down. So uh, we had to uh, find out the bug that what is causing the issue. So uh, we uh, logged into the server and we found out that uh, some of the resources uh, were being utilized by the processes and our main, main memory was being fully utilized. So uh, we quickly found out what was the issue in that and we uh, resolved it by applying some technical methods over there. Ma and uh, there are some other situations as, uh, as well, ma'am, uh, where like uh, I've shown my problem solving skills and because of that, I was given more responsibilities uh, like in my organization as well, along with development, I was handed some other responsibilities as well, such as like mentoring juniors, like doing code reviews for further optimization. Man. What has been your weakness so far? Uh, Ma'am, one of my major weaknesses used to be over commitment and delegation of tasks. So uh, I was not able to properly delegate the task to my teammates and I was taking the task by myself only which was leading to overburdening. So now I'm like working on it uh, and I have improved a lot in that sector. I'm Now I'm like identifying the strengths of my teammates as well and properly delegating tasks to them as well as doing the task by myself as well. Vishu, you told that you have good leadership skills, but you don't know how to delegate the work. Then how you have yes, leadership skills? Yes, yes. Actually, it was one of my weakness, ma'am. So during the like starting of my career, okay, so when I got the opportunity to like uh, show my leadership. So that time, like, yeah, this was one of my weakness. I was not able to properly delegate the task. And uh, I uh, like communicated with my seniors as well that how I can overcome with this weakness so that uh, I can uh, like properly like uh, do my leadership as well. And I worked on this and I've improved a lot, ma'am. And yeah, there's a scope of improvement further, but I will work on it.
you have leadership skills you have handled a team of 7 suppose i give you a team of 50 how would you handle them tell me some of the uh, things okay ma'am ma'am first of all uh, i will uh, divide the team by their strength let's say some of them might be good uh, good in front end development some of them might be good testers some of them might be good in back end development okay and whenever we are getting some task we will identify which task can be taken up by uh, like uh, which uh, developer or which person so that's how we will develop, we will divide the task and then later on the day we will like have a session and we will discuss their progress and if someone is stuck on their task we will like do a open communication and we will try to resolve their challenge their okay. problems can you just tell me what has been your biggest achievement so far vishnu uh yes ma'am uh ma'am when i was in nic and when i was working there uh so we worked on one crucial project called as ease of doing business ma'am so uh this project mainly uh, aims to simplify the business process and it's being uh, like uh, taken over by the government of india as well to improve the process and i was part of the project in assam and we had to develop 400 services uh, within a span of 6 months ma'am and we completed uh, not 400 but 350 plus services we completed and along with it we also completed some major modules as well ma'am and we had a team of only 6 person at that time and with little manpower we like overcame this challenge and we successfully delivered like more than 90% of services ma'am this was one of the achievement which i have uh, like uh, done there in nic uh, there are some other as well ma'am okay what has been your biggest regret to uh ma'am pardon me i could not hear you any of your biggest regret in your life if you have uh yes ma'am but it's not kind of a regret actually uh, i come from uh, that particular area where like we don't uh, know like how are how like we should like uh, progress into our career okay so like till i uh, i was doing my higher secondary i didn't had any idea on like what course to pursue let's say i am interested in it so what course i can pursue so that i can further develop myself ma'am and during that time i was uh, not like uh, fully into the studies as well ma'am because of the environment and later i moved to the city and then i got to know like how the real world is and there like i improved myself a lot ma'am like since my graduation and since then uh, there is no like uh, there is always an upward direction uh, for me like in terms of my growth and improvement ma'am okay so tell me one thing bishnu uh, why you think that you should be selected and other candidates who are coming for the interview today ma'am i think uh, my background skills and experiences which i have along with the technical expertise i have also experience working in nic in e governance projects and i think i can use that knowledge along with whatever technical skills i have and i also have technical skills in the emerging technologies which nic is using and nic's long term vision is to use all these emerging technologies to create a sustainable uh, like uh, environment and digitally transform like all the crucial services so i think i can significantly contribute to it ma'am okay if you have to summarize a personality in one word what will word will you choose for yourself uh ma'am if i were to choose one word uh, i think i will use dedicated dedicated any past experience through which you feel that you were a dedicated soul yes ma'am like throughout my career ma'am like uh, i have been dedicated in my professional growth starting as an in- intern i have worked my way up to become a senior full stack developer and i got selected as a scientific assistant in nic as well and now i am aspiring to become a scientific officer ma'am and along with it i have like invested lot of time and efforts in acquiring the technical skills and like uh, this is this so this is showing my commitment ma'am towards the dedication and how i can upskill myself as well okay right so see uh for singer vishnu i would like to tell you certain things that are negative in you very first is related to your introduction thoda lamba ja raha hai isko thoda kam kar do theek hai last mein jaise liners ho gayi wo thode elongated lagta hai kyunki aap baad mein apne apne technical skills bhi bata rahe ho apne usse pehle aap bata rahe ho mera 5 years mein tha ye team mein maine ye ye kaam kiya so it should not look very lengthy it seems okay, to be lengthy so let deduct that okay. okay 
then if you say certain skills don't contradict the qualities the ones you are mentioning the strengths you are mentioning the weakness also right delegation okay. is something which is very important in the teamwork when i asked you you told at the very start many team members of seven ko lead kiya right agar maine usi tarah sabko 50 ko de diya right to aapne usko delegation karna sabse important task hai डेलीगेट करोगे तो तभी वो आएगा ना टीम वर्क में आएगा बिकॉज दैट इज व्हाट इज इम्पोर्टेंट ये नहीं बोला मैम अब मैंने सीख लिया तो मैंने ओवरकम कर लिया तो ओवरकम कर लिया तो वीकनेस नहीं बची यस मैम इट यूज्ड टू बी वीकनेस यूज्ड बी ना बट वी हैव टू टेल अबाउट द करंट वन ठीक है आप एक या दो मैक्सिम बता दो एक बता दो फटस है It is yes. you are over committed to something, but that is a kind of it showcases the diplomacy ones also. You can say that I am a straightforward person. I cannot say to no to someone. Um, it can be that I do not take much uh, uh time for my physical or mental health to for some. You can say for that space. वो भी आपकी weakness आ जाती है तो आप उसमें बता देना. Better don't Thank mention the contradictory qualities. और जब आपने team of fifty बताना तो words like delegation, words like uh teamwork should be there. Right, that they should have an open work culture. Open work culture is when any person who is at any level, suppose they are dividing into this. Hey, are you maintain it? Who you have to look level, he will also come and come and communicate with you. If there is some problem in that, so okay. open space culture, in your uh, teamwork, keep these things. Okay, choose okay. so the right choice of words. Then it should be that why you should be selected. It should be like very first thing is that answer. When you ask why should you should be selected, convince us why you are better than others. Why? Uh, You and not your friend. कुछ भी ऐसा क्वेश्चन आ जाए, right? तो it is very simple. इसको डिवाइड कर लो. First thing is, am I find myself that I have a strong theoretical knowledge plus I have got practical exposure too. मैं एक professionally skill experienced person हूँ, जिसके पास experience भी है, theoretical exposure भी है, practical exposure भी है. पहली चीज. Second, मेरे पास कुछ क्या आ जाते हैं? Soft skills आते हैं. I carry certain soft skills inside me like dedication. Teamwork, adaptability, which can be which can be very helpful to prove prove to be proven as an asset to your organization, right? So, आपने आंसर को क्या करना होता है? Divide करना होता है. Whenever you divide it out in your mind, you try to streamline the answer and you provide the good choice of words. Too. Okay, ma'am. Okay. वो थोड़ी गलती है आप पे. आह जैसे एक word to define your personality. Not only dedicated can be a learner, a team leader. जैसे वो देखा करो. जब आप NIC की position में जा रहे हो, तो आपको qualities like you should be very calm, composed and a patient person because there you have to do number of experiments, you fail number of times. आपको वो चीजें होना चाहिए. Adaptability जो आप बता चुके हो, that can be a good skill, right? थर्ड आ जाता है और आपने क्या आ सकता है वहां पे लॉयल्टी टू वर्ड समवन राइट आपने क्यों छोड़ा अभी आपसे क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाएंगे नेक्स्ट में Why did you leave first organization, right? Uh, you left for NIC. Now, why you want to leave the current rules and uh, current organization? वहाँ पे आपको क्या shortcomings लगती हैं? क्या-क्या problems आई आपके आपको? Challenges क्या meet up किए? So all these questions will be there in the next run. वो prepare करके आना थोड़ा. ठीक है? Thank you. Go to website. Read the website of NIC. I'm going to ask in the next run. Okay? Okay. 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 Okay.